Good morning. We are working on another fifth wheel. This is a Crusader. And um, this one is getting originally uh, 1300 watts of solar for 325 watt panels with um, 150 slash 100 uh, single multi plus. Uh, what else? 712. Uh, they already had six lithium batteries, so we're just relocating them. And this is a 382 MBH. So I've already started working on it. Let's go upstairs. Uh, day one was getting all the wiring done. So let's go upstairs. Okay, there are going to be two panels in the back of the coach. So the the wiring. I came down and I did a split with a Y connector, uh, then uh, picked up another panel about halfway up the coach, and then there's another one near the front AC. Then they opted to add four more panels, so uh, that'll be a little bit later. But uh, got the uh, penetration done for the uh, box and all the wiring done t today. All right, so let's uh, see how much work we get done tomorrow. All right, day two. We have gotten all the panels in place and secured. Uh, the, the wiring was already done. So gotten all this done and um, started in the basement. Um, figuring out how the uh, the batteries, uh, multi pluses, MPPT, all that stuff's going to go. So uh, the tough part is going to be getting the next four panels up here. One of the challenging things on this install, on the uh, solar, the uh, first set of solar panels, was getting two panels to be side by side and fit and still give you enough room to uh, come up and be able to access the roof from the factory ladder. So I had to bring the brackets all the way to the edge. And then I mounted this panel first. And then when I put the second one in place, I had to hold it up and then uh, up to about here and then get the um, the uh, sealant underneath both spots set it down make sure everything was nice and straight and then uh, seal everything up after I screwed it down and then this side was just you know, regular typical easy so but that was very challenging with uh, very little walk space all the way around it uh, unless I absolutely have to I never try not to walk on a slide uh, if I do I always walk out around the very far edge where there's support never walk across the middle uh, there's no support there it can't hand hold your weight and you will break the seals and possibly fall in so nobody wants that to happen so new day day three I um I have figured out the orientation for the batteries and the MPPTs, even though the MPPTs have to be mounted upside down just because of the the orientation of some of the piping. Um, if I were to do it right side up, I wouldn't have any room to get the wiring in place. So I had to mount uh, one of them upside down and it would look silly if one was right side up and the other was upside down. So I just mounted them both upside down. But anyhow, let's uh, go in here. So there's the MPPTs. Uh, this wall will be put back. Um, don't think I'm going to do a door on it. Uh, I think I'm going to have the uh, recessed um, switch, uh, fuse, circuit breaker, switch, circuit breaker. So these two are for the for the coach, and these two are for the batteries going to the multi plus. So I'm going to turn the light on. Let it help some. So then the batteries had to be staggered a little bit due to 
the piping right here in the front um, but all six of them are in place and strapped down uh, this end of day three so everything's strapped down um, 712 shunt is right there on the ceiling and then from there I'll uh, disperse out to the uh, grounds right here in this cubby where the uh, water is there will be a wall right up next to the water pump and then that's where the multi plus will sit recessed into that little cavity there um, so that'll be tomorrow day four So I'll also have uh, two shutoffs for the um, solar. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put them down in this area or in between them. Um, haven't decided yet. Dirt. And uh, there will also be a outlet. Uh, I've already put in the lighting. I want to switch and tie it in so that uh, there's at least decent lighting. I do have to replace this wall. They had a piece of paneling in here. I'm gonna replace it with some uh, cabinetry plywood and cover it in gray to match. And I believe that is it for day three. Let's come back on day four and see what we get done.